guys, I decided to go live to share a story with you. So we'll wait just a couple of minutes for a few people to join in. Um, I just want to let all of you know that, especially my kids in my class, that I've missed you all so, so much. It's been super sad not to go to school, and it just honestly, it just feels weird. But um, I guess your parents have told you that school is closed, and hey, Bethany, uh, school is closed for a really good reason. There's a there is a virus going around, and um, schools are closed so that we can stay safe and not get sick, which is what I pray. Um, I pray that all of you stay well and that you wash your hands a lot, which is what I'm doing a lot at my house too. Um, so I just thought that, who else is on here? Comment if they're here. Oh, hey Bethany. Tell them to comment. Oh, comment that you're on here if you're on here, because I sure, I've never done this and this is all new to me. <laughs> so if you're on here, let me know. Um, I'm hoping that some of my kids from my class join in and kids um, that I've had in previous years join in. We'll wait just a couple minutes and see if some people join. And I will show you my sweet puppy, Tucker. I know all my kids have heard about Tucker. He is the light of our lives in our family, and he keeps us so busy and makes our house so much fun. I don't know what we would do without Tucker. Okay, so, oh, hey, hey, Promise. I'm so glad you got to come on. Come on. I miss seeing you, sweet girl. I miss you a bunch. And thank you for calling me yesterday. That meant the world to me. I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully some more people will jump on and, um, and, and listen to the book. I thought this would be a really cool thing that we could do um, at least once a week. And I'm going to call it Good Night Story Time with Mrs. Greg. And hey, Miss Robinson, I miss you too. Um, the name, of, the reason I picked this book, it's called Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. And there's two reasons. Number one is my class loves Pete the Cat. That is their favorite character. And so I thought, I'll definitely want to read a Pete the Cat book. And number two is this book was bought for me from Jacob Latham. And he is a former student of mine, and I absolutely love and adore him and his family, and he holds a special place in my heart. Hey, how are you, Amelia? Thank you for coming on. I miss you, sweet girl. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started and read this book to you, and I hope you enjoy it, and um, hopefully we'll do it again next week. The name of the book is called Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. And it's written by Kimberly and James Dean. Hey, Sydney. I miss you too, girl. Okay, it's called Pete the Cat in the Bedtime Blues. And it won't be long till we have to go to bed anyway, so I thought this will be a really good book. Pete and the gang had a great day. They had been at the beach. They had been at the beach, surf and sun, and tons of fun. See all that fun they're having? Miss Greg loves to go to the beach. <clears throat> but when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. See, if you see right here, this little light bulb, he has an idea. What do you think it could be? Hmm. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place, let's go. So they're ready to go to Pete's house. You know why? They don't want the fun to end. Hey, Jay, thank you for joining, darling. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. Look at all that fun they're having. 
eating pizza, making music, all that fun stuff, drawing beautiful pictures. I love having a sleepover, and I know that all of you do too. On with the pajamas and out with the light. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. So see here, they're all tucked in into their beds ready to go to sleep. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when, clap, 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 who did that, Pete said. It was me, the grumpy toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered he can't go to sleep with all that noise. Hey, Jazz, thank you for coming on. Hey, Jace, I miss you too. Hey, Lily. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. These people don't want to go to sleep. Hey, hey, Taylor. I miss you, girl. Pete tried again to catch some Z's. When? Rat-a-tat-tat. Who did that, Pete asked. It was me, said Gus, the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Now, don't you know, Pete is really getting aggravated. This is getting on his last good nerve. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard. Oh, no. Please don't tell me more noise. Munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? Here alligator is wanting to eat all this pizza and it's time to go to bed. All the clapping, rat-a-tat, tatting, and munching is giving me the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. What do you think he could do, boys and girls? Does anybody have an idea? Hmm, let's see. He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read, first to himself and then to the gang. Now that is a wonderful idea because reading a book before you go to bed always makes you feel better and it helps you to sleep really good. Hey Mackenzie, I miss you girl. Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. Praise the Lord. These he is probably tired of all that noise. They all settled down and no one made a sound. So did it work? Did the bedtime story work? Yes. Pete yawned and turned off the light. <gasps> Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing sun and tons of fun. See, boys and girls, when you get lots of rest <clears throat> and you are, then that just makes you ready for the next day to have tons more fun. It's hard when you have a really fun day and you don't want to go to bed. Because I know how that is. I don't want to go to bed either when I have tons of fun. But 
Pete the cat learned that all of them needed to go to sleep so that they could have tons of fun the next day. Now, I want to ask you a couple questions before we finish up. Pete had a problem in this book. Do you know what the problem was? Can you top the answer to Miss Greg? Hey, the Patterson twins. I'm so glad to see you. I miss y'all so much. Um, and then when he had that problem, he also solved the problem. Can you tell me how Pete solved the problem? Can anybody write the answer? What was Pete's problem and how did he solve it? It's pretty easy. But I'll tell you, boys and girls, um, he couldn't sleep. Jade, you are right. So, since he couldn't sleep, what did he do to solve that problem? And to get all his friends to go to sleep. Jade's really smart. She's in my Sunday school class. But I will tell you this, boys and girls. Oh, he read a story. You got it right, girl. Thank you so much. Um, I will say that sometimes it is hard to fall asleep, boys and girls. Even Miss Greg has days where I cannot even go to sleep. So, can you tell me what you do when you can't fall asleep? Can you share some ideas with Miss Greg that I might could try? Because I sure could use those ideas. I'll tell you a couple of mine. Um, one is, and my mama taught me this a long time ago, boys and girls, when I was just a little girl, she taught me to count, to count and count and count as far as I could go. And, and when you think you're done counting, no, you don't, you're not. You just keep counting and eventually you'll drift off to sleep. Do you have any ideas that you'll share with Miss Craig? Another thing that I do is when I'm having trouble falling asleep, I talk to Jesus. And I tell him all my troubles, <laughs> all my worries, and all the things that he does good for me in my life. So I pray. That's another thing. Oh, Taylor says drinking water helps. That is a wonderful idea. We probably should all drink water right before we go to bed. Oh, Gary says watch YouTube till you fall asleep. <laughs> now that's a good one. And... Oh, Jade says she takes her stuffed animals and listens to the ocean sounds on her Echo Dot. Oh, my son does that. And that is a really good idea. Oh, I thought of one more thing that Miss Greg does. I turn on the fan and the noise. I don't point it toward me because it'll, it'll give me a sinus infection and all this stuff. But I do turn it on just for the noise. So that's another thing. But boys and girls, I just want you to know that... All of you, I love you, and I pray that you stay well during this during this time of the virus going around, and that you're washing your hands a whole lot, and that you stay at home and have lots of fun with your with your family. You know what would even be a really cool groovy idea, like Pete the Cat would say, is to have a sleepover in your living room with your family. You don't even have to invite friends over. You can have a sleepover. Family, get out the blankets and the pillows and the sleeping bag and lay out on that living room floor, watch a movie, eat popcorn, and have a sleepover. How fun does that sound? Hey, Mason. Hey, Chloe. I, oh, yeah, Chloe sleeps with the fan too, so she's just like me. And boys and girls, that's all I have for today. But I hope that you'll continue reading books while you're at home and that. Your parents will read books to you as well. And I hope that I can come back on here next week. As long as I'm alive, I'll come back on here next week. And I'll share another book with you. So until then, all of you, stay groovy. And I love you to the moon and back.